I'd now like to welcome Olivia's niece and Goodwill Ambassador for the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Centre, Toddy Goldsmith. Toddy. Thank you, David. And on behalf of my family, I'd like to thank the Honourable Daniel, Daniel Andrews, Premier of Victoria. Thank you and the people of Victoria for giving us this opportunity to celebrate our Olivia. But I'm here to speak on behalf of Olivia's Australian family. Family was extremely important to Olivia and she shared a really unique and special connection with each one of us. Toby, Olivia's brother, described her as the convener she brought us together and kept us connected despite us being so spread out. But as kids, I also remember her cheeky sense of humour doing wicked impersonations of our very British father. Olivia's younger sister, Sarah, who's watching from Spain, said Livy was a true romantic. Life meant love to her. From when I was about 12 years old, Livy would ask, how's your love life? That was the most important news to catch up on. Nephews, Jeremy, Randall and Pierce from Brother Hugh shared these memories and feelings. When I was very little and she came to visit, she would sweep me up into a hug and it was like being hit by a thousand volts of whatever that thing was that she had. Her ability amongst all the hurly-burly to give 100% undivided attention let me know that she cared and I'll, that will always stay with me. She was unpretentious and down to earth. She was a magical being. Niece and my sister Fiona, daughter of Olivia's sister Rona, shared Livy would meet each one of us where we were, in that piece of us that were like her. We shared poetry, health and healing, yoga, Pollyanna and positivity, mostly at 5 a.m. Melbourne time from wherever she was in the world. Nephew and my brother Brett wrote, she bought me my first instruments and took me on the road with her when I was just a teenager. Later in life, she trusted me enough to sing my songs and record her beautiful voice. As a photographer, she commissioned me to shoot portraits of her when she could have had any photographer in the world, but she wanted me. For me, she was my go-to. I had a pretty much a sisterly kind of relationship with her but it, she also held a very maternal role for me. We shared a passion for the Wellness Centre, centre a sense of humour, and John, a terrible sense of direction. We once got lost driving in a straight line from LA to Vegas. And actually, we were pulled over by the police on that trip when she was at the wheel, and guess who didn't cop a speeding fine? <laughs> but something that we all share and we'll always treasure is whatever our dreams were, Liv was our greatest fan. Liv, thank you. Thank you for being an amazing, unifying family member. Thank you for your love, your sunshine, and your deep wisdom. Thank you for your love, for teaching us what humility, strength, and dignity are all about. We miss you terribly, but we all each carry you with us in our own special way. Thank you.